So first of all, I think the common myth or common things are I get is, hey, are there even job available onto the Oracle Cloud, or who should be doing Oracle Cloud? Uh, so if you look at the cloud computing market, it's growing aggressively. You all are here. That shows that you know and understand that cloud is the future. I started this six, seven years back. I consider myself a little bit late, but then if I look at my numbers, I think um, it's just a very, very infancy stage at this right now in minute. There is a lot to grow from here. There are thousands and thousands and thousands of Oracle customers, especially in last two, three years. There are more than 19,000 customers who are using Oracle Cloud currently. So there's a huge customer base on that uh, from Oracle customers' point of view. And these jobs are going to grow only. So if you're an Oracle DBA, if you're an Oracle Apps DBA, if you're working on anything on Oracle, or if you're to start your journey into Oracle Cloud, or if you're working on other cloud and would like to go onto the multi-cloud, uh, I think um, that is where you should be focusing on. Um, I think um, if you just want to search on, just Google on Oracle Cloud jobs in your country, and you'll be able to see hundreds and hundreds of jobs, especially uh, all the databases, Exadatas, eBusiness Suite, Fusion Middleware, uh, Oracle Fusion Middleware, Oracle applications, all of them are moving towards Oracle Cloud as well. Uh, I'm going to focus a couple of four things. So the first and the most important thing is the common misconceptions. Common myth is that um, you will never ever get 100% match of your requirement. So when you get a job description, first thing to pick up is what you know and what you don't know. And focus on you know as long as you have a 60% match on a CV preparation on the CV, then start applying for that. Not every job is right for you. So as long as when you pick up the CV and see what all things you know and what things you don't know, if you know 60%, apply. If you don't know 60%, see where the gaps are and then try to pick up, uh, uh, try to try to learn that and implement. Till date, I myself don't know 100% of this. Me being working for so long, I've not come across anyone who knows everything in cloud. Cloud keeps changing. So that's number one. Number two is that it's not all about job uh, in terms of uh, that not everything you're going to do will be done by a single person. So different person have different skills. So you might be good in databases and you can pick up the database part. Someone will be picked good in security. They'll become security part of the cloud. So as long as you know the basic concepts and as long as you're good in one part of the cloud, you should be good. You should be able to find a job um, and enter into the job. And then you can pick up and learn other things. This is the most important thing, confidence. And in whether you do an interview, whether you for a job, the confidence is the most important thing. That is where the uh, a lot of students fail or a lot of students, uh, they don't feel confident or they don't work. Uh, they, they Most of the time, they fail in the interviews because of the confidence. And the most important point because of that, this confidence will come when you perform the hands-on labs. And the hands-on lab you can, with cloud, you can perform these hands-on lab on your on, on your cloud account. So we'll be talking about that uh, the labs which I'm going to talk about. And then the fourth and the most important, and another most important is the appetite to learn. With cloud, you have to constantly learn. If you're not upskilling yourself, if you're not growing, if you're not learning, you will not be able to pick up uh, or you'll not go far. So make sure that you keep learning uh, these skills. I know these four things sounds obvious, but trust me, a lot of guys don't do that. These are the basic things which don't people learn. So guys, this was our expert from Team K21 Academy. And if in case you have some doubts and queries, then we have something really special for you. We have our free class on how to become Oracle Cloud Architect for certification and higher paying jobs. So in this interactive session, we will be discussing about why you must learn Oracle Cloud, OSA architecture, network connectivity and core services, our eight week roadmap, plus 30 plus hands-on labs to go from complete beginner to the expert level. So all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash OCI02. You'll be seeing this kind of page. Just click on book your free seat now, select your event date, add your name, your email address, your phone number and click on yes, save my seat. Moving ahead, you'll be seeing this kind of link. All you have to do is just save this link, add it to your calendars and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, keep learning.